Hello, my name is Catherine Coromillis and I am a member of the Modern Stoicism team. Stoicism is an ancient Greek and Roman philosophy that to this day, 2000 years later, is really quite helpful as a guide to kind of showing us how to live sanely and happily as individuals in community. Now, coming up very, very soon on Saturday, the 21st of October is our annual conference. We call our annual conference Stoicon, and we have been holding these conferences for 11 years now. We've been gathering together as academics, authors, Stoic scholars, Stoic practitioners, and just a general curious community to talk about Stoicism and how we can practice the philosophy. Stoicon 2023, everyone. Our theme this year is beauty. Uh, our title is Beautiful Stoics, What Beauty Can Teach Us About How to Live. Now, the Stoics are probably not the usual philosophers that you head to for questions of aesthetics, um, but the Stoics do have a distinct theory of beauty. And did you know that the earliest surviving complete Stoic texts is a poem. And this is how it goes. I'm going to read you just the beginning of it. So, noblest of immortals, many named, always all powerful Zeus, first cause and ruler of nature, governing everything with your law. Greetings. <laughs> so that is Cleanthes using the poetic form to capture a, a philosophical contemplation or argument, let's say. And our conference is going to begin with a recitation of that poem. So let me tell you a bit about the conference, uh, the program and the speakers. We're going to start with actor Cecily Thomas, who will be reciting the hymn to Zeus by Cleanthes. So we're starting with a poem. Professor Johann Tom, who translated the poem into English, will be joining us just to give us a bit of uh, commentary around the poem. What What's going on in that philosophical poem by Cleanthes? Uh, next, Ice-T Chelkite, who wrote the book, The Stoic Theory of Beauty, is going to join us to introduce us to the Stoic Theory of Beauty and define some of the key words so we can have a vocabulary for the day. Uh, following Ice-T, Massimo Pigliucci is joining us as the progr program's skeptic. His talk is titled, Did the Stoics Get Their Theory of Beauty Wrong? <laughs> okay, after Massimo, David Feidler is going to talk about beauty from ancient wisdom to modern applications. Brittany Polat is going to join us to talk about the inspirational power of moral beauty. And John Sellers is going to talk about paint paintings. Peter Paul Rubens and the first modern revival of Stoicism. Professor Jennifer Baker is going to join us to give us some precepts for reasoning and rationalizing around beauty. And Greg Sadler is going to follow on with a discussion about things of beauty for Stoics. So the Stoics found everything from the cosmos to loaves of bread cracking open um, imperfectly as beauty. So Greg Sadler's going to explore what the Stoics found to be beautiful and give us a kind of a guide, um, a kind of a compass in order to kind of focus on what uh, perfection and imperfection as beauty might, might be telling us about the world and about what to focus on. Nancy Sherman, who we know about her work, uh, of with stoicism in the military is coming to join us to talk about dance yeah dancing stoics um, her talk is called dancing with the stoics and she's going to explore what dance might have to tell us about working in community in collaboration with each other and being beautiful communities together okay our keynote speaker 
Professor John Verveke from the University of Toronto is going to join us to argue for the primacy of beauty. His talk, his keynote is titled Why Rationality Needs Beauty and he's going to invite us to become beautiful in a practical, earthly, very stoic way, a virtuous way. So it's going to be really exciting to listen to John's keynote speech. Following that, we will have a QA. and a In fact, we're going to have a Q&A with every speaker after their talk. So come on in, ask your questions. I'm sure you're going to have loads of questions and we're going to try and get to them. And we're going to end with uh, a musical recital by one of our favourite Stoics, Sharon LaBelle, who is the author of a book which is now, what, 25 years old. It's the book that probably introduced much of the modern world to Stoicism, The Art of Living. Well, Sharon is also a musician and she's going to give us a short commentary and play us some original music inspired by, yeah, a more Stoic uh, perspective on music. So that's our conference. That's Stoic on 2023. Beautiful Stoics. We really want you to join us and be in that Zoom room with us on Saturday, the 21st of October. But join us the day before on Friday, the 20th as well, because our very famous fast and fabulous lightning talks are live on Friday, 20th of October on Zoom. Harold Carvley is going to host them and uh, they should be fun. Speakers, just you and me, uh, have five minutes to talk about a stoic concept, experience, question that has been interesting for them in the past year. We'll have a Q&A with them and we'll do some social breakouts everyone so we can have a nice chat amongst us. So we really want you to join us. Um, Pop on over to Eventbrite and search for Stoicon 2023. Grab your ticket. Tickets are by donation. Any contribution helps us as modern Stoicism to continue the work that we do, which is to continue gathering Stoics and curious Stoics and academics and writers and researchers together so that we continue to explore and practice this philosophy of life, which is as its essence. So beautiful. Uh, if you can't make a contribution to the cause today, uh, just use the code no donation 2023 when you head over to Eventbrite and grab your ticket absolutely free. So everyone, see you on Saturday, on Friday the 20th, Saturday the 21st for beautiful Stoics. Find us on Eventbrite, Stoicon 2023, or click a link somewhere around this video. See you soon.